In Game 2, we witnessed a different OKC Thunder team than the one we saw in the series opener. What worked in the first game was an aggressive Paul George, playoff P, if you will, a balanced attack by the starters, and a shot-making Alex Sabrines. The second game was an unfortunate glimpse into what plagued Oklahoma City all season, inconsistency. It is clearly a lot to ask for, but the OKC Thunder must stay on track as far as ball movement, energy, and adaptability. I say adaptability because their shots failed them in the fourth quarter last game. Instead of adjusting by attacking the hoop, they kept shooting, and missing. More on the keys to the game in a minute. Paul George on his hip, it was a huge turnaround. After not being able to put shorts on, to obviously playing tonight, it was a huge turnaround. I expect these two, three days in between going to Utah, I should be back to 100, Royce Young, at Royce Young, April 19, 2018 The Utah Jazz built some momentum with the win and now get to carry that momentum home to Utah. The OKC Thunder did not play well, but kept it close in the last game. If the team can just put a few things together, a road win or two does not seem like too much to ask for. Now, the keys to victory. Page 2 OKLAHOMA City, OK, April 18th, Russell Westbrook. Photo by J. Pat Carter, Getty Images, for the OKC Thunder, splitting the first two games at Chesapeake Energy Arena was not ideal. Now the goal must be to at least split these two on the road. It will not be easy, but it is certainly not impossible. How to accomplish such a task, you ask? I miss Andre Roberson. With that out of the way, the pity party must officially end. Corey Brewer has received deserved praise for the energy and um, bounciness that he provides. And stretchiness. He is hard to describe. If you get credit for solid defense though, then you must also shoulder some blame when it is lacking. Brewer and Russell Westbrook must slow down the guards for the Jazz. This is an interesting backcourt battle, as I have highlighted before. Ricky Rubio is not known for his shooting, but don't look now, he is draining shots. The OKC Thunder must adjust and guard him more closely. That, and do whatever they can to slow down rookie sensation, Donovan Mitchell. Turning out to be an even taller task than expected. Make in-game adjustments when one aggressive Westbrook drive results in a turnover, it always seems that another turnover is not far behind. Pushing the pace when possible is a great tool, but a little more control is necessary to stop the bleeding when the Jazz go on a run. As we alluded to earlier, shots were not falling in the fourth quarter of Game 2. The OK3 kept firing, going a combined 0 for 15 from the field. Westbrook and Paul George are two of the most athletic players in the series. They need to attack the basket and get to the line when shots are not falling. Utah shot 15 more free throws than Oklahoma City, thunderous intentions, at Thunderous and April 19, 2018 Another, different adjustment that could be made is in rotations. It is not too late to experiment with lineups if it means inserting players with hot hands, see, Jeremy Grant, balance ball movement and aggression The OKC Thunder kept the first game out of reach by whipping the ball around and eventually finding wide open, all-star caliber talent. If that does not sound like a recipe for success then you might have something in your ear. Carmelo Anthony and Russ have tendencies to play hero ball and be a little too aggressive at times looking for their shot. That was not a major issue in the previous loss but I bring it up as a reminder that not all aggression is ideal. A nice balance of ball movement and smart shot selection by the big OK3 could easily lead to a road victory in Game 3, page 3 OK LAHOMA City, OK, April 15, Carmelo Anthony point guard, Russell Westbrook shooting guard, Corey Brewers mull forward, Paul George power forward, Carmelo Anthony center, Stephen Adams point guard, Raymond Felton shooting guard, Terrence Ferguson. Small forward, Jeremy Grant, Josh Hustis power forward, Patrick Patterson. Center, Dakari Johnson, Nick Collison injury notice Andre Roberson, torn patellar tendon, out for season. More from Thunderous Intentions point guard, Ricky Rubio shooting guard, Donovan Mitchell small forward, Joe Ingles power forward, Derek Favor center, Rudy Gabatuta jazz bench point guard, Dante Exum, Raul Neto shooting guard, Alec Burke small forward, Jay Crowder, Royce O'Neal power forward, Jonas Jerebko center, Epe Udo injury notes, suspensions. Thabo Cephalusha, knee surgery, out for season injury notes Peroto World Game Specifics The Venue, Vivint Smart Home Arena, Salt Lake City, Utah. Tip-off, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. CTTV, ESPN Radio, WWLS 98.1 FM Oaks If the OKC Thunder play the way they are capable of playing, they should come away with a victory on the road.
The differences between games 1 and 2 have highlighted Oklahoma City's biggest weakness, inconsistency. Who knows which Thunder team we see in this game. Let's hope for one that snags the series advantage and goes up 2-1. to one. Remember to follow our hot take mastermind, Tony Heim as he tweets along with the game at Thunder Ooze and post-game check out his player grades and then check back for the 5 takeaways from Game 3. For a full compilation of the series articles click the above box which will take you directly to the series hub.